Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, so um, first of all, Jake Paul, he need to shut the hell up. First of all, Jake Paul called himself uh, taking a swipe at our sister Carissa Shields. And I just want to make this very clear. I had to tell the truth about Carissa Shields in my live stream, you know, but at the end of the day, it's just tough, tough love. You know, um, I'm just calling it how I see it. I'm not finna ignore certain things that Carissa Shield said that I thought was um I thought was very disrespectful and I thought it it, it was I I just thought it was uncalled for. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm gonna always call it like right down the middle. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fair dude, I'm a objective. Some people gonna like what I have to say, some people ain't gonna like what I have to say. But like I said, and I'm gonna continue to put this out. I don't follow nobody's script. I don't answer to nobody. I say what I want to say. I mean what I say and say what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Some people might not like how brash I am, but, you know, I, I, I'm i okay with it. I'm okay with it. But anyway, let me get to this dude, uh, Fake Paul. Like I said, once again, Fake Paul, you don't get to, like, try to disrespect our sister Carissa Shields. You know what I'm saying? This is just real talk. You ain't in no position to call nobody fake when you the fakest dude out there. You ain't a real boxer. You're a fraud, and I know you're a fraud, and most people know that you're a fraud, okay? And your boxing matches are fixed, okay? So just stop it. Now, Jake Paul called himself once again taking a shot at Carissa Shields, saying the fake will always get exposed, you know, you know, compared her to uh, Amanda Serrano's and everything. And shout out to the Amanda Serrano's. Now, like I said before, I didn't like some of the things that Carissa Shields has said over the past couple of years. But at the end of the day, doesn't mean she's canceled in my eyes. Doesn't mean that I'm done with her. It's just that I'm responding and I'm just keeping it a buck. Okay. You know, but like I said, I got love for my, my, my sister, Carissa Shields, Carissa Shields. At the end of the day, if you see this video, don't don't take it personal. What I said in the last video, at the end of the day, it's just some tough love. That's it. That's all. Of course, I want you to succeed. You a black woman. And I always root for the black black woman. You know what I'm saying? My mother is a black woman. So, you know, real talk. So, um, first of all, it's a question of Jake Paul. Did he defraud uh, the public in his last outing? Because it appears, and this came from numerous media outlets and reports, that Jake Paul, his past fight against Tyrone Woodley, he put a stipulation in the contract that he was not allowed to be knocked out in that fight. So basically, he was not allowed to lose in that fight. You know. Now, keep in mind, this was sanctioned as an actual boxing match. And this is supposed to go on Jake Paul's actual boxing record. So that means probably the fight with Asp Aspirin pretty much probably had the same stipulation. I keep trying to tell you Jake Paul ain't as good as people think he is. He's not good at all. He's not a good fighter. And I told you once he ever fought a real fighter, he would get shellacked. Now, Tommy Fury might not get the fight because I think that's what he's trying to do to Tommy Fury. And from what I heard, he's going to go another direction because more than likely Tommy Fury will not be allowed to actually fight Jake Paul. But Jake Paul put a stipulation that Tyrone Woodley couldn't knock him out. But he could knock Tyrone Woodley out. Now, keep in mind, he fought in his hometown of Cleveland. Now, there's also been a question of how many pay-per-view numbers he, he really has done. Okay. And then this dude tried to parade himself around as some kind of hero. Oh, I took less money to make sure everybody else got paid. Man, that dude is a, 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 a phony. He's a phony. He's a cornball. And I think everybody knows he's not a real fighter. Now, if it was put in the contract... That he couldn't be knocked out by Ty Tyron Woodley. Now you have to question, did you get defrauded? 
And shit, this has been sanctioned as a actual boxing match if one of the outcomes was predetermined. Okay? That's just real talking. You have to keep keep it a buck. See, I'm not afraid to say what other people won't say. Now you have to ask yourself, were you cheated out of your money? You paid to see an actual fight, but if the so-called main attraction couldn't be knocked out, then um, what? I'm just keeping it. Uh, I'm just keeping it a buck. If the main attraction cannot be knocked out, then that's not a real fight. It should have been sanctioned as an exhibition match, which to me it looked like it was. So I'm just keep. I'm just telling the truth about this. If this dude got some nerve, how you gonna call somebody fake and your fights are fake? How I, I, I'm I'm serious. This need to be put out there, and I noticed that mainstream media and of course most boxing media media have ignored this story because once again they worried about you know they worried about this they worried about the oh I don't I don't want to f- fall out of favor with with these people I don't want to fall out of favor because like I said this is real talk you need to call your cable provider and look into. Getting a, re, a, a, a a refund because actually you were sold this fight on false pretenses. This fight was sold to you as a actual sanctioned boxing match, but there was a stipulation in the contract where Jake Paul couldn't lose by a knockout. So what does that mean? This wasn't a boxing match; it was a exhibition match. It was entertainment because that you could say that's what you would call being scripted. And people are going to say, well, well, the fight went the distance and Jake Paul won by a decision. But he couldn't be knocked out. He could be. And then this dude. And then let's not make Tyron Woodley be some kind of hero, too, because you set up there. Yeah, you got paid a decent amount of money. I don't know what you got paid. I guess you got paid a decent amount of money by your standards. But at the same time, you set up there and let yourself be branded and tattooed. You know, by fake Paul getting a tattoo saying, I love fake Paul because I'm not calling him Jake. His name should be fake. And it's just real tough. People need to say these these type of things. I'm not worried about no damn Jake Paul. I ain't worried about his team. I'm not worried about none of those dudes. That's just real. That That's real talk. But for real, you need you need to look into asking for a refund by your cable providers. If you bought this fight with the, you know, the intent that you was going to be watching a real uh, boxing match with the outcome not predetermined. So I'm keep keeping it a buck, but it appears that one part of the outcome was predetermined. So like I said, if it was put in the contract that Jake Paul could not be knocked out, that's not an actual boxing match. It should have been um, it should have been labeled as a exhibition slash boxing entertainment or a, a you know an entertainment fight but jake paul is running around here acting like he a real boxer and he calling somebody fake if anybody fake it's him and this needs to be said like i told you man y'all need to look into that y'all i'm glad i didn't pay for that i'm glad i didn't pay for it for real like i said if this this is true, uh, man, come on, Stephen, come on, Stephen Espinosa. Now I don't think Showtime has uh, any. I don't think they have any say so on how the contract is, is written and everything. But to a certain degree, this fall on them to, a, to to a certain degree too, because y'all are putting this clown on. Y'all are putting this clown on, and he shouldn't be on on TV, and he's not fighting real fights and like i keep saying his numbers are not really what they're making it out to be because if they was then triller wouldn't have dumped him and nobody came to that fight at mercedes-benz stadium that stadium had less than 300 people in there so i'll just keep i'm just keeping it a buck people don't want to hear hear the truth but i'm telling the truth about fake paul this dude got some nerve what a hypocrite. You trying to call Carissa Shields fake? At least Carissa Shields fought in the actual fucking fight where the outcome 
was predetermined. Can't say the same for you. So now it's looking like that Ben Askren fight was real suspicious. So yeah, I told you I ain't worried about Jake Paul. I told you I'm not here to make no no friends, and I'm not finna be one of these media people. Well, you know if I don't say say this, or if I say say this, then these people they go give me credentials. They gonna get look look at at the end of the day. I told you either they gonna give me credentials or they not. You know. But I'm not going to sit up here and compromise my channel because I want to, you know, stay in good, you, you know. I, 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 I'm I, just keeping it 100. I'm not going to do this to my channel because I want to stay in their good graces. But yeah, this needed to be said about fake Paul. Real talk. Dude is a clown. Just like Tank said. That's why Tank said that Roly was a clown. He a clown and I think everybody else know, know the dude and his brother is a clown. They don't deserve none of the notoriety that they get. They ain't putting in no work. And for them to be getting paraded around like they box a superstar. Well, we know where that come from. And that's because of their complexion. Yeah, I said it. But real talk. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.